Hi, my name is Marco Cantu. Welcome to this video on building rich business applications with FireMonkey. This video is part of a series describing the uh, demos and some of the technologies covered by a white paper I've written for Macadero Technologies on FireMonkey. As I mentioned, my name is Marco Cantu. I'm the author of a number of books about Delphi or Delphi, the language FireMonkey is written in. I've written the Mastering Delphi series and recently I've self-published some books on specific editions of Delphi called Delphi Handbooks and you can see a couple of covers in this slide. I'm a consultant and trainer available for consulting on your Delphi projects. I have a blog, a Twitter account and there are other ways to reach me. And also, I organize public training classes along with Kerry Jensen. That's the Delphi Developer Days event. So in this first of the three videos that are come alongside with the white paper, we will cover some of the demos. Uh, I won't get into details of how you build those applications, but just showcase what you can achieve with uh, FireMonkey. And the white paper will have full details and source code and there will also be a webinar highlighting some of the key ideas behind those uh, examples, those demos. Before we get into that, into the demos themselves, two words about FireMonkey. That's a new application platform built by Embarcadero Technologies and part of the RAD Studio, uh, both Delphi and C++ Builder. It lets you build high definition graphic application with animations, shading, and lots of other graphical goodies, but also 3D applications. It's a CPU powered engine, meaning your code gets compiled, it's not managed, but it's also a GPU powered engine because the graphic side of the application is actually processed completely by the GPU to actually take advantage of the power you have in your computer. Um, also, it's a cross-platform application platform. It's written in Delphi, it can be compiled, as I mentioned, in Delphi C++ Builder. It can target Windows, can target the Mac OS, and also it can target the uh, iOS, the iPhone operating system. So, as I mentioned, this video is just an overview of the demos. I won't show you much of the source code, just very few snippets. But the first demo of this series, they are all tied to pizza. I've renamed the program Build My Pizza, but it's basically just the most simple Delphi application you can build with an edit box, a button, and a list box. And the code behind behind the button is, uh, behind the button's on click event handler, is code that basically adds the text of the edit to the list box. Now, this is exactly the same code you would use in a VCL application, although this is not, this is a FireMonkey application, as you can see by looking into other portions of the source code. It's the same architecture, the same approach, it should be extremely familiar to VCL developers, but on the other side, it's really a brand new world. Now, if we compile and run this program, what we can do is we can add toppings to our pizza. So we want a pizza with tomato and ham. And maybe we also want to add cheese. Okay, so that's the first very simple demo program. A second version of the same program uses visual effects. So now we can get the reflection of the text of the edit. The buttons have a nicer look and feel and the list box has a crumpling effect that you can also enhance by clicking on this button. It's still a fully functional list box because all of the all of the shaders, all of the graphic effect can be applied to images but also to any 
visual uh, component of the library. This program here at design time has a combo box where I load some files and then when I press this round button this image is loaded and the image has some animations attached to it, a moving and rotating animation that are started at the same time. When the item reaches the list box, it will be added into a graphical structure. So the list box has actually items with have both an image and uh, some text. So we just pick one of the topics, we can see the animation floating and then the topping gets added to this graphical list box. The next application has a, a, is a 3D application. It has a 3D image. Actually there are two 3D images back to back one to the other and I will turn this image with a graphical effect. There are also some other components on the side. There is a container of two of, of HD of b-dimensional controls. So there's this layer that is hosted by the 3D application and and has a 2D uh, well, b-dimensional controls inside itself. So you can mix and match the 2D and the 3D. Now this is the graphical effect of the turning images and that's built just by customizing some ready-to-use animations. And also this item can move, so the two move independently because the, all of the animations is driven by the GPU. Now let's move to some more business-oriented demos. This is a rather standard user interface form. Uh, there are several edit controls because there is no special DB edit, but these controls use live bindings to connect to some of the fields of this client dataset controls through the bind scope DB component and the new live bindings architecture. So the, the program has basically no code but an open call to the client dataset and uh, image management function. If we run this application we have full uh, database navigation. Well not all images are actually there but we can go, we can edit the data, we can do any kind of, of change and post it back to the DB. Not only we can easily create client server applications, we can do multi-tier. This is a server-side application, this is actually a VCL program that has a DataSnap server control and management components using HTTP. It has a data module with a client dataset exposed through a provider. And finally, a very simple main form. The server has also got a function, order pizza, that can be called directly from a client application. If we run it without debugging, what we can do is now move to the client application and now this is the FireMonkey client which means we can have the server running on Windows but the client could be equally running on Windows or on the Mac. If we run the client we have a database application similar to the one we saw earlier. We have to connect with a given TCP IP, in this case localhost, and we can get the description and the images of the components. Now suppose I like this four cheese pizza, what I can do is I type in my name and I place an order. The server basically will add me to the list and return to the client the information that I'm the first in the waiting line. Not only there is direct support for multi for client server and for multi-tier, but there is also support for uh, cloud computing. In this case I'm using an Azure connection to get information from a NoSQL database, hosted database table hosted by Azure. I can get a list of the available records 
and again that's my pizza and I can click on one to retrieve the record okay let's do for another one it's apparently quite slow it's a good demo effect and notice that I've used one of the features of FireMonkey that is full support for uh, automatic resizing the last application I want to show is a very simple client that uses a string read. This is a custom client, doesn't use a specific control, just does an HTTP request against Twitter and loads tweets that has the have the pizza hashtag. And we can look for, for pizza, but also, of course, we can use uh, the same application to query different topics, for example, to see post posts about Fire Monkey itself. And you get the person who posted and the text and some more information. So we have seen just an overview of some examples built in Fire Monkey. Fire Monkey is a really an innovative application platform that's part of uh, Rod Studio XC2. It provides innovation, speed, it's business-oriented, it's the future of Delphi built on the Delphi Foundation.